hello guys how are you today uh, in today video I'm gonna teach you about uh, an important software uh, which is used for uh, analysis and data plotting uh, in research this is very important software uh, the name is origin I am using origin pro 8.5 and higher uh, versions recent versions are available like 9.5 this work for me perfectly so I am using this since many years a brief introduction to the functions we have in this software this is very useful for, for data analysis in research and easy to handle we have a lot of control over the plot and we can modify the plot according to our desired format uh, in the file menu you have many options but the most important i would like to uh, tell you about you can start a new project uh, you can import data from the folder or uh, you can save the project save as uh, so you can save the window as well you can print the data import what you have plotted and you can import data from uh, in many formats and you can export the data in any format given here you can import the plot as an image as well in the next edit menu uh, these functions are not working now because we have not plotted any data yet once you plot data these functions will become functional and now uh, it shows dummy in the view bar uh, you can control your user interface uh, this one is important you when once you have uh, data let me first import some data over here there are three ways one is you can just import the data by going to the folder to open and uh, then click the file and you your data will be imported over here second way is you click and hold the file you want to open this is the txt file uh, go to over here yeah and just release it and you will have the data in the column yeah just like this and in thir the third way is you open the file in excel copy the desired columns and plot it over here so these are the three ways you can open any file now let me plot for example i'm plotting this one so again uh, here you uh, here are the shortcuts uh, you can plot it simply in the form of line in the form of line you can plot it in a dotted way without line or dotted connected with line you can plot data uh, in the form of column column plus label in the form of bars stack column stack bar uh, 3d or 2d pie charts as well so these are different functions here are many other like you can plot data using double y one y for one plot and second y over here for the second plot you can plot three curves using y and double y plot one y on one side and two y's on the other side for two curves three curves you can plot it three y you can also plot four curves one y on one side and three y's on the other side and you can plot four y's by double y on each side so these are different types of plotting and you can plot simply multiple y axes and the program will arrange by itself you can plot by stacking lines by y offset you can plot uh, in the form of waterfall waterfall y color mapping waterfall z color mapping uh, or vertical two panel horizontal two panel four panel nine panel stacks and multiple panels so these are different functions you can format your plot according to your choice you can also do some statistical treatment with your data uh, you can plot standard deviation bars on uh, your data and you can plot histograms and you can plot many multiple histograms you can plot many other things like this so these are some statistical functions also you can plot in the form of uh, like area stack area or full area polar coordinates can also be plotted with this software here are different formats different functions you can see so these are just the shortcuts and you can find these functions in graph yeah or here plot 
so you can plot so these are different functions linear scattered scattered uh, line plus symbol and column and then uh, yeah you can exchange uh, x and y this one is important exchange x and y area so the y the x axis will become y and y will become x you can, so you can exchange both of them in the data section you can set display range whatever you want to show on the screen you can set the display range and you can uh, come again to the full scale range and you can put analysis markers on it and you can also lock position of the data you can remove bed point from the plot in the analysis section uh, we have multiple function for statistical analysis uh, statistical treatment of the data in the mathematics we, we have interpolation or extrapolation of the data we can normalize curves or you can simple curve math treatment with the data integration and differential of the curve can also be done with these functions and you can get polygon area or average multiple curves in this section if you talk about data manipulation we have uh, subtract straight line and subtract reference data functions we can reduce duplicate x data or reduce by group we can translate the curves either vertically or horizontally this curve if we want position of the curve we can go vertically or horizontally uh, in both directions uh, fitting is another important parameter in plotting so we can fit linear a linear fit or we can fit linear with x error we can uh, fit curves non-linear or surface fit simulation can also be done in this software we can also simulate the surface or uh, we can fit exponentially are in a sigmodial mode and if you are expert you can uh, compare data sets and compare different models with this software in the signal processing section we have uh, we can smooth the curve we can reduce noise or we can apply different filters like fft or uh, ifft sfft or we can who apply world word like continuous world word decompose reconstruction or we can denize the curve convolution and deconvolutions can also be done or coherence and hybrid transform are another important parameter the baseline can also be fitted with this software so you can simply fit single peak or multiple peak or you can analyze peaks automatically with the peak analyzer single peak can also be analyzed or a bunch of uh, peaks like the batch uh, peak analysis can also be done in this way so these are different gadgets and tools this one is important you can set the page layer or plot setting can also be done over here you can set x y z axis xyz axis labels tick labels and you can add or remove titles to x y and z direction so these are the important uh, functions uh, you can play with your graph and you can format this window simply from uh, this menu if you want to draw line over here and here like the cube so you have separate lines like two lines above one line above the upper the top line and one side or you can use two side lines simply like this if you want to remove x axis title y axis title you want to remove the uh, grids and values of x and y axis so you can simply select and delete if you want to play with this line like you want you don't want any ticks over here just double click the line and go to 
title and format so here is the main uh, thing you can do with this uh, you have multiple options for the ticks like so we have two type of ticks one is the major and second is the minor so we can either select major or main minor or both of them inward or outward directed so here are in and out we can direct in both ways in and out in like you can see over here it's already in out in out the tick will be outside of the uh, box and you can remove the ticks the major ticks so here are the major ticks we are removing major ticks so we selected none if you want only minor ticks in in direction keep it like this in out direction select this one in and out in both directions or you don't don't want any minor ticks so we will select none you can change thickness of the line and the tick length like length of this tick so you can change both like I am selecting 3 for this line so this is the width of the main line thickness of the line in points and this is the major tick length major tick length we, we have not selected any major tick length so this one is not useful for us in our case you can go to uh, here we have top so you can go to right or here and you play the same with the right one you can go to bottom this one is not working we modified top and right so left and bottom will not work in this case so just apply it changed and then ok so modify to modify this one double click title and format we want major in and minor none so we selected none and 3 now bottom is working so in none thickness 3 and ok so it is modified and now it's looking beautiful if you want to change the size and fonts of these uh, values like I want to make it bold size 24 and time new roman here it is time new roman so I selected time new roman bold and 24 size you want to change the uh, title like I am writing in this case intensity in arbitrary unit select it change the size make it bold and change fonts to time new romans here it is you can also change angle over here like i want to change 2 and theta so for theta we wrote q and it is in degree so i selected this one make it bold change size 26 time new roman now if you want to use greek letters like alpha beta so just click on this alpha beta so theta is a greek letter and you can write theta by just writing q and then go to alpha beta or simply you can press before writing anything this alpha beta and then write q so it will write to theta for you we want to change it to degree so select this one and go to superscript it will go up above the uh, normal level so you can superscript it you can subscript it or you can write both superscript and subscript in the same place you can change the size from here increase or decrease the size you can change color any color you want 
select one another important thing uh, I want to tell you is you can change the width of this curve like now it is 0.5 let me change it to line yeah now select it and change the size to let's say 2 so it's 2 is enough and you can also change like make it dash make it dotted dot dash or dash dot dot or anything you can change the color of the line from this menu if you have a ligand in it you want to write something for it like the sample name x y 1 you can also add ligands from here just click it and ligand will be added so we already have ligand it's not adding you can add x y scale from here and you can add another graph inside this one from here add insert so there are many important parameters in it you can play with your graph as much as you want and here are some other important things like you can write anything inside the plot using this text tool click this one click over here and write anything you want we have curves again we have lines like you want to you can draw a line like you want to say uh, you want to highlight this peak or you compare you have different uh, curves curve 1 curve 2 curve 3 and you want to compare it so you can simply draw a line over it and you can also change uh, the width and you can make it dotted or dash or anything or you can change the color as well so it become very small dot like if I increase the size now it's visible it's not distracting but you can compare different curves it can direct you in this way another important thing is the scale in and scale out function you can increase the size of any region if you want to come back to original scale out and it will be back if you want to show some selected region over here just double click the scale go to scale and select your desired region like for example I want to say uh, start from 5 and go up to 80 for example so I writing here 80 and you can increase the increment uh, the tick difference it is 10 like here 0 to 10 20 30 if I make it 20 so it will show 0 20 40 I can increase it by a factor of 5 you can see it's increasing with a factor of 5 you can increase by uh, let's say 15 you can see the difference of 15 you can increase by 20 anything you want you can play with it you can do the same with the y axis so these are the basic functions uh, which are useful for plotting any data and formatting uh, your plot according to your requirements there are many other functions uh, which we will try to cover in the next video thank you so much for watching